I tend to follow sort of a pattern when it comes to building with just the base game. I just know what I like and I know what works, so I kind of do it over and over again in a lot of those base game builds. There's just only so many items in the base game and even fewer items that I actually like, and that kind of results in a lot of my builds looking very similar. I'm trying to work on this, so here's the plan. I want to try to do an entirely base game build using only items that I hate. I have done this challenge before, but with all all of the packs, and it's kind of hard to choose what you hate the most out of like literally everything. So I think it might be a little bit better if we try to focus on just using my least favorite items from the base game. I'm gonna try really hard to pick the swatches I like the least, the rug colors I use the least often. I'm even building this in Oasis Springs because I don't really build here in Oasis Springs very much. I was trying to sit down and think about what sort of style I should go for, and I was thinking about the windows, because if I'm gonna use my least favorite windows, I wanna go through and pick a few that I really really, really don't ever go for. This one, these little like square windows, I do not ever use. I just don't really love this collection, and so I'm gonna try to use these here today too. I should also probably warn you that all three of my cats are in my office right now, so if you see any like random movements, just just ignore it. That one is Snap. On the floor down below her is Shrimp, and Sunny is somewhere. I don't really know where. Actually, Sunny is there, Snap is there, and Shrimp is down there. We're kind of in a planning phase right now, so I'm trying to think about what sort of wallpapers I should use. I'm almost tempted to try and fit in stuff like this in the build because I never use this thing. There's all kinds of stuff that I like never ever go for. I don't even know when I last used this tile. I wonder if I could try to use that as like an accent color on the outside. Oh, I'm not doing a budget, by the way. I'm not worrying about that. <laughs> they can only do one challenge at a time, okay? I also used to always hate this particular stone, but they did add some more swatches recently, so I wonder if we could try that. I don't understand why all of the other modern themed windows got all these extra swatches and this one didn't. I feel like they should match. They should have all of the same swatches. Even this one has extra. When you compare like the big one, it's got way more options because it has those like blue colored glass things. It makes it so hard to build because there's like barely any items in this game as it is, and then you have stuff that doesn't even match closely at all. They both have like a black swatch, but the black is a different color. Okay, how about something like this with like the cool modern thing, and we put the front door down here. I'm not really sure what door is best for this because most of them don't really work. <laughs> like this one, um, I don't know. That's probably my least favorite of the base game doors, at least the ones that match this style, but I don't know if I like it. I am actually tempted to use a skinnier door. It bothers me so much how it's shorter. Do you see that? How it's like significantly smaller. I wish that this one had a window above it. People always say like, oh, just pick a window and, and put it there, but it doesn't really fit. Like if I take this one and I put it there, it, it doesn't match. Like you can see the gap and that really bothers me. It almost bothers me more than the door being short. <laughs> which maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm being a little bit dramatic about it, but there's just something that I cannot handle about that. Okay, what do we think about having it be shaped like this? This is kind of weird. It's definitely different than what I would normally go for. On the back, I wanna have a sliding glass door, but we just can't really do that. I wish I could have like one big sliding door, but these two, they look so weird and small when they're next to each other. <laughs> that is just not the vibes. Maybe I could put these doors next to each other. That makes me feel sad too. Maybe just one and then I'll put windows next to it. I don't know. It's really not that big. This house is actually kind of small, but in a weird way. <laughs> It's kind of weirdly shaped. I'm trying to think about fences that might be good. I don't really use this one very often, but I don't I don't think it matches. I guess glass is always a good option too, but you know what's horrible? This does not come in black. It comes in like gray, but that is obviously not the same color. I wonder if we could use the gray then instead. Like what if I made everything gray? Okay, these grays don't really match. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they? Why would they? I don't know. It's not going to stand out very much if I have the stone places, but it is more in the spirit of the challenge, because the goal today is to try and use things I don't normally use, and I, I use black all the time. I don't really ever use gray. Do we do like a light color, or should we pick a darker one? I think the light windows look kind of weird on the dark stone, but maybe I'm over-exaggerating. I'm trying to think paneling now. I'm not really sure what color scheme I'm going for. I also can't really tell. Is this like green toned or is that a true gray? This is the green toned one. Okay, maybe I could try this then. How does that look when it's outside? Or would that be on the main bit? Uh. <laughs> I'm not good at this. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Stucco is good. Stucco matches, so we can make that work. I don't think that, I don't, nah. <laughs> This doesn't look good at all. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> Trust the process. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so totally fine, okay? I'm okay with the stucco. I, I think that we need some sort of different paneling. There is some nice horizontal paneling, and we can get it in a lighter gray, and that can help bring in some of the colors of the windows. That might be the missing key. Okay, this is, I... <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. As we all know, 100% of the time, I am so not good at building modern houses. Look, we all know this by now, modern houses are not my strong suit, okay? It has never been my area of expertise. It never has been, and it never will be my area of expertise, okay? Working with platforms can be extremely annoying. You have to do so many little things just to fix it all. All of that, just so I can have the tiniest little bit of different colored trim right here. <laughs> just to cover the white space. And now I can't, you can't delete that? Really? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? What, that doesn't make any sense. Do you think if I like reload the lot, it'll fix itself? I don't like this build. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. This is so not my vibes. <laughs> it did fix itself though. So I guess there's that. Okay, see, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's a little bit different than what I would normally do, but I think in kind of a cool way. Maybe we could try and have the top floor have some bigger windows like that then. This part is super weird. <laughs> From the inside, really strange. But maybe the staircase could go over here so it looks like it's on purpose. Cause then it's like open above the stairs and not weird anymore. I don't really use these stairs very often. Oh, bad color. I don't know what color I'll use, we'll see. But that's all right. I think that kind of makes sense. I think I want to close that wall off. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that maybe the upstairs should be lofted. Like what if we just opened most of that up? Cause that helps with the window in the middle. I have to put a platform for the door cause I did raise it up. Oh, I don't know. I think it being lofted is a massive waste of space though because you could fit a whole extra bedroom up here if we did it like this there could be like two bedrooms and then this could even be a small bedroom like a nursery oh here's a fun plan maybe we could try extending that out a tiny bit because that makes it so i can put a different window it also makes the bedroom a bit bigger i don't really like um i don't know <laughs> I don't really like that. This one doesn't even come in the same. Oh, it does. Never mind. Sorry, false alarm. It, I was gonna complain about the swatch, but I was wrong. I hate this window. I just think this looks so bad. It's so not, so not my vibe. Okay, I'm trying something that I think is probably bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wondering about trying to put some gravel and then some landscaping in it. I used to do this sometimes and I haven't done it in a while. It's either that or like maybe some of these planters. The problem is just trying to get these ones to fit because that's like ever so slightly too big. It might be kind of cool though to use those planters instead. Oh, it's another kind of stone. I really shouldn't let myself do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad idea. It doesn't even match anything. That could be kind of cool though, especially if I use that instead of the fence back here. Or there's like the, oh, wait a minute. This might be better. These cinder block walls make way more sense. It kind of has the cool gray vibes, but it has a nice pattern. And then it's not like a weird different kind of stone. Now that I'm starting to put some bushes in, I think it's looking better. I will be the first to admit that I, I was kind of worried before. <laughs> But now that we're putting some more stuff together, I, I think that it's making more sense. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like extremely weird? <laughs> Doing this is probably a mistake, right? Putting this fence there for no reason, especially because the gate is quite big, but I like it. This is kind of completely changing the game for me. I feel like all of a sudden it looks cool. They do have a bunch of these kind of pinky toned flowers out in the environment. I don't know if you can see them. Right now I'm kind of unsure if I should use them or not. I think it helps. So I'm leaning towards yes. And then I wanna put the mailbox somewhere where it's like a little bit more usable. Okay, I think that might be the majority of the exterior done, finally. All of the stone, the swatches are not good. <laughs> Like everything about it looks not good together. I think we have to go simple. I think we'll come back to the patio, but I did put a pool back there. And now we got to start thinking about the entire floor plan. <laughs> we got to figure out something to do with the inside here. So we know we have three bedrooms upstairs. I'm actually kind of thinking that maybe we could have some sort of dining table here in this central part of the room. So like dining table in this area, there could be some sort of living room here. And then the kitchen cabinets could go along this wall somehow. Probably not these particular colors, but you know, <laughs> something like that. And then maybe this is where an extra bedroom goes. We could have a tiny bathroom downstairs 
in this little area. And then this becomes the bigger main bath. So it's a three bed, two bathroom house. I'm probably not gonna use these weird bump outs because I don't really have a need for them, but I think that kind of works. I feel like that fits. I never, ever, ever, ever use gray flooring. I know this house is very gray, like everywhere, but that's kind of the goal, right? We're trying to use stuff that we don't normally go for. And I'll have more brightly colored things inside. I swear, we'll do like colorful accents and like funky kitchen cabinets and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm actually gonna start with rugs because I think that oftentimes picking the rug helps to decide the entire building. We aren't allowed to use blue because I always use blue. And I'm trying to focus on rugs like this one that I don't normally go for. Okay, that is horrendous. <laughs> It kind of matches though. What if we had like lime? Lime green. Okay, listen, I know this is a lot, <laughs> but it's like a lot in a fun way, right? We're gonna need some sort of accent color. I don't know what, because most of these things don't, they don't come in accent colors. The swatches are very limited. <laughs> Everything in this game comes in this green and that's it. The curtain situation is not good. There's not a lot of base game curtains. I don't really love this couch, so maybe I could use this one. Okay, how about this? What if we take these cabinets and we raise them up so that they fill in exactly underneath the windows? And then we can put a big TV, something like this one, and just set it there on top of the cabinets. I don't think I can raise it up too much. Oh, that's fine. Okay, it's not floating. Good. This is weird. <laughs> I don't know about this building. Can we do stone on the inside? Ah, oh, the floor. There's not enough contrast. Maybe we get like darker or lighter or none. Could always do none. This is what I get for trying to be funky and like use a floor swatch that I don't normally pick. There is a reason I don't pick it. I, I feel like it needs almost like a, a warmer color. It's so gray inside. I think it needs something like this floor to split it up. I'm trying to go through and look at things. Like this lamp, I never use that. So I'm gonna try and put it in here somewhere. We can even try and pick ceiling legs that I don't normally go for. I'm thinking like maybe these cool pendants above the island. I already use like every single plant there is. <laughs> I already used like every single base game plant there is. I don't even know which one to pick that I don't use. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never picked this thing. Does that come in a different color? Oh my God. Maybe the orange is good. We can try and add in a couple little like tiny orange accents. Cause like that plant has an orange base. That's good. Now that we have this lime green thing going on, I'm having visions of using this painting. There's a bunch of debug paintings like these. And these are all prints that your Sims get from the microscope and the telescope in game. And I never use those. <laughs> it's not so much an item that I hate as it is more of an item that I just don't use very often. And I think that's still good for this challenge. Don't get me wrong. I will use items I hate. I don't like this thing, but it is also nice to just try and fit in some stuff that we never go for. It is kind of tight in this living room, there's gonna be a lot of open space in here, which I don't know if that's a good thing. I wonder if I can make it even tighter. This might be weird because we're gonna have like two bathrooms right next to each other. Oh, that has weird green on it. Okay, I can't bring myself to do that. But that's nice. That's like an actual half bathroom. And then this one could be a full bathroom. Is that mirror clipping into the ceiling? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> we gotta use a small mirror. Okay, that's fine. Hi hate this tile. Maybe this is a good excuse to use it. It makes me think of pools, which isn't really a bad thing. It's just not, it's not the vibes that I'm usually going for. I also don't know what to put with it on the walls. <laughs> I have one stone accent wall in the downstairs. We could use that again. This rug is probably one of my top least used things in this entire game. I'm kind of considering trying to use it here in the dining room. The only problem is that when you size it up, it gets too big. Oh, I never use this thing. Okay, that's gotta be the inspo for an entire bedroom. I wonder if we could try to layer it like three times like this. Maybe better just layered twice. I don't know. Oh, none of the chairs are green enough. This is a disaster. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it works. That's good. That has orange. We talked about that. We need that. I wonder if I could try and make like a fake sideboard and then put the painting above it. I'm literally going through every category and thinking like, okay, what do I never use? <laughs> and like pulling out different lamps that I can try. Over here by the front door, I think we need a shoe rack. Oh, we should use this somewhere. Oh, it doesn't fit anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's try it over here. Oh, it doesn't want to place because of the platform. Uh, I don't like it being that far away from the wall. Let's try that and then get like a mirror of some sort above it. Ooh, yikes. Oh, that is very lime green. <laughs> okay, that's good. We can work with that. Do you think it's bad if I size down the shoes? They were just too big. It wasn't, it wasn't working for me. Okay, this is what I've got so far for the whole downstairs. I added a couple little details like this table. I tried to make this entryway more of a proper entryway. I picked out a few things from the plant category that I don't use very often, like this cactus and this little table plant 
thing. So that leaves us with this downstairs bedroom. And I think down here, I wanna try to use some of these weird wallpapers that I don't ever go for. Like this one with the weird paneling. I might also base one of the kids' bedrooms off of like this carpet, just for an excuse to use it. I never use this little side table anymore. Okay, we have to put that one in. I also never use this lamp. <laughs> I used to put that when I would try and do like modern industrial builds when I was younger, but it's been ages since I used that lamp. Do you think we can make this rug work? <laughs> This is like gym equipment. <laughs> so I don't know if that's for the best, but we can try. Does this even come in solid black? Oh, it does. Okay, sorry. I was gonna complain, but I have no reason to. My bad, my bad, false alarm. I don't know if I like this, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> it's a build using items I don't like. So <laughs> let's call that bedroom done. And then we can figure out this kid's bedroom upstairs. Using this lime green has really, it's put us into a box, okay? I don't really know how to break out of said box. Oh, oh, there's always this bed. <laughs> I never use that bed, that's true. We could also make it like kids room vibes, but I guess I use this wallpaper a lot. Um, that's too far, right? I think that, yeah, okay. I think that's too far. <laughs> I never, ever, ever, ever use this wallpaper. Should I try that one in here? Maybe I can mix and match with this light yellow color and then we can see if this might look good together. Thoughts on green bunk bed? Cause I think the bunk bed could be kind of cool. It does leave us a lot of empty space in here. Oh my God. <laughs> know what to do. This is such a weird combo. Yeah, I think I would say I'm in a bit of a regret era right now with this. I'm usually pretty good with chaos, but this is a little bit more than even I am used to. I really, really dislike this nightstand. I don't know about you. Do you ever use this? Because I just cannot get myself to like it. Okay, I think that, um, <laughs> I think that this room is like genuinely kind of bad. I think I might leave it though. I put a toy box in with the weird eyeballs. I really love all of these cool prints. I need to use that stuff more because that looks really good there. Um, sized up. This rug is really big. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. None of the swatches match. Like I, I'm looking through everything and it just seems like nothing is gonna work. I don't wanna use one of the swatches that I always go for, but I guess if it's so we can use a rug that we never use, maybe it's okay. I just use this bed all the time, but I guess it's the base game. Like there's only so many beds that you can use. We can get a nice painting that has some fun colors that kind of match the room. I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll use that one then. That's the spirit, right? If you don't like it, then use it. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do all day. What about some kind of like thing? <laughs> some sort of item from this, this like sculptures category that I don't use very often, like this guy. Oh, a literal sculpture might be kind of cool. Do you think I could put that here? Is that too random? <laughs> It might be a little bit weird, but maybe I could use that instead of the chair because I really never use that. Also, I think I should have a fountain and I'll put it back here. There's all kinds of stuff in this game that I don't really ever go for. Like these sorts of things, commemorative freeze ray. Like I just, I don't ever use that. So maybe that makes it good. Maybe that could be a fun touch because it kind of fits the space vibe, I guess. I want to try and decorate a couple little shelves too. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe I should use the plum bob ceiling fan. Oh, I never use that. I was scrolling through because I wanted to get some of those little debug decorations. I was thinking about stuff like this that I could put on here. I also never use the element display rack. Maybe this kid is like big into science and they have the display rack too. And a frog. Okay, I'm doing too much. <laughs> okay, I have to put a light in here again because I did delete it. I don't really feel obsessed with this room. <laughs> I would say I don't really feel obsessed with anywhere in this house, but again, that's the spirit of the exercise. <laughs> Last, we just have to go through and put in things like lights outside, any patio tables or other decor that we want out here. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a vacuum, by the way. I don't think that you can, but you maybe can. And if so, I apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna give them four lounge chairs because we have plenty of space for that back there. I'm thinking they need a grill. We're gonna need a trash can. I did put an indoor trash can inside, the money one, but I want to get a nice trash can out here too. Some sort of outdoor table that I never used. I don't really like this one, this outdoor table. I guess that's nice because it matches the lounge chairs. The main issue just being the fact that I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like there's kind of a reason that I don't use this stuff. I don't really want to have a tablecloth outside, but I guess it's okay. We can do it. Oh, we need to have one of these. Okay, I'm putting a telescope out here. Do you think I can make the pool not a perfect rectangle? Does it look better like that? I feel like I'm always struggling so much with how to fit all this in and fit it together. I'm kind of interested in trying to use a hot tub like up against the corner. I just don't know if that looks good. <laughs> 
<laughs> but maybe I could build a wall. We might be able to make this look a bit more intentional this way. Maybe I use the same stone from the rest of the house. And you can continue that stone into the pool, at least on that side of it. I'm putting brown in the pool. Does that look bad? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, maybe some palm trees in the back corner like this. That might be nice. And then we could just get some little planter boxes or something. I'm mostly thinking just like a couple other skill building related items. So some planter boxes are probably good for that. They can have like an herb garden back there. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I. It's so hard to build houses with stuff that you don't like. That's what I've learned. I, it's not really a surprise, but like it's really hard for me to, to dig through and try to find stuff that I don't want to use. <laughs> and then try and make it work somehow. I feel like considering the circumstances, we've actually done a pretty decent job. I'm just putting in some last minute terrain paint everywhere to fill it all in. I might even get some of this little flower terrain paint in a few places. And that I think is the finished build. I hate the lighting. That <laughs> is the finished build. It's really not my vibes. Also, can you get inside? Let me just check that real quick. Okay, we're fine. Oh, oh, she did walk right through the fence and she's walking. Why? Why? <laughs> Hold on. That actually really bothers me that she walked up the side of this. Can I put a fence there? I don't really want a fence there, but I don't want her to walk up the side. Come here. Oh, she doesn't want to walk on these. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll get rid of them. It's worth it for it to be functional. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this build for today. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll show you around real quick. We've got in total three bathrooms and three bedrooms. Downstairs, you walk in this little entryway into a formal dining room. You've got access to the back doors from here. There's a full bath down here with a shower and a half bath, just a toilet. We also have a huge living room and a huge kitchen over here off to the side. It's all very lime green. <laughs> and then upstairs, we've got a very small little hallway with the primary bedroom that I hate the most, the kids bedroom that I hate the second most, and a huge bathroom. No shower, but a tub in case you need one. Maybe you have like a pet or something. And then in the backyard, we've got a pool, a hot tub, lounge chairs. We've got all kinds of stuff going on back here. And I am feeling pretty good about it. I might actually put a couple extra bits. Like that little thing is kind of nice. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Let's say it's done. I'm feeling kind of insecure about this because I don't I don't know if I did a good job, but I really tried my best. Modern houses are just not my area of expertise. So hopefully you like this build. It is base game. So if you want to download it, you totally can. And if you like content like this, I play The Sims every day here on YouTube. And I also play The Sims pretty much every day over on my Twitch channel. I'm live six days a week over there. So I'll link my Twitch streams down below and make sure you're subscribed here so you don't miss the next one. And I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. The cats have been in here the entire time. It's been like multiple hours and they're all still in here. <laughs>